Okay, for this question, we are going to figure out this limit. And the way that we are going to do it is, we'll actually use a table of values to see what the limit is going to be, all right? So notice that how we have x is approaching 4. Therefore, let's go ahead and set up a table. And let me just put down the x value right here. And of course, the expression with, that we are dealing with is ln x minus ln 4 all over x minus 4. And let me just pick uh, several points for you guys right here. So let's say we'll do a table of seven values. And let me just put a four right in the middle. And you will see that when x is exactly equal to four, when we put it down right here, you see that we have the zero on the bottom. That's automatically no good. So when x is equal to four, this expression is undefined. However, this does not mean the limit right here doesn't exist. Well, what we have to do is, okay, let's just start with from the right-hand side. Let's say we have 4.01, right? And then I'm going to get even closer and closer to 4, but not exactly to equal to 4, because otherwise it will be undefined. And then I will just put down, let's say we do 4.001 and 4.0001. And then from the other side, I will just put down 3.9999. And then 3.999 and then 3.99 like this. As you can see, this right here, it's getting closer and closer to 4 from the positive direction because it's you no know, slightly bigger than 4, right? And this is slightly less than 4. All right, so now you can just use your calculator, plug in the values, and you can use a graphing calculator the way I showed you guys in class. And I'm just going to write down the uh, values that I have on the screen for you guys. So for this right here, we get 0. 249688, right? And then for the next one, we get 0 0.249968. And of course, I'm just going to write down the first few digits. I'm not even rounding. I'm just going to write down the first six digits so you guys can kind of see if there's anything that's going on or that. And when x is 0. Point when x is 4.0001, we actually end up with 0 0.24. 9996. And again, I'm not rounding, so I'll just cut it off right here, and there are a lot of more numbers. Notice that all these numbers are approaching what? Very close to 0 0.25, isn't it? And yes, they are approaching 0 0.25. And if you go from the other direction, let's start from this right here, we actually have 0 0.25. 0313 like so and then we have 0 0.250031 and again I'm just right on the first six digits after the decimal point and then lastly here we have 0 0.250003 and all that therefore you can see that the answer to this right here it will be 0 0.25 namely 1 over 4 Right? So that's it. Okay, for this question, we'll use a calculator so we can come up with a table of values to find this limit right here. Notice that we have x is approaching zero. So you just remember how to set up a table and choose the x values to help us out with that, right? So here we go. Let me just put on the x right here. And then we have the expression one plus x raised to the one over x power like this. And I'm just going to give you guys seven values for x. And I'm just going to emphasize this with you guys right here. If I put 0, and this right here is exactly equal to 0, right? It's like 0 into x, right? When I do that, if you see x being 0 right here, we have 1 over 0. And that's automatically undefined. So that's it. It ruins everything. So when x is exactly equal to 0, you do not have a value for this expression. It's undefined. But we are going to approach it. So let's see if we pick x to be 0 0.01. And I will approach 0. So let's say 0 0.001 and then 0 0.0001. See? This right here is the right-hand side direction, right? So it's the 0 plus. And we can also do the other direction. I will just negate the, this right here. So the negative 0 0.0001, negative 0 0.001, and lastly 0. 0 0.01, but negative in front of that, of course. And of course, you just plug in the values into the x and then just work that out on your calculator. Use the graphing calculator, the quick way I showed you guys, that's pr pretty much it. So here are the answers. When x is 0 0.01, we get 
eight, one, and so on, so on, so on, right? So I'm just writing down the first five digits after the decimal point, and of course we have a two in front of that and all that, all right? Next we have two point seven one six nine two dot dot dot, and then when x is zero point zero 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 one, we end up with two point seven one eight one four. And so on, so on, so on. Okay? Now, if we jump to the other direction, and let me just start with the bottom, because you see, from here, we will be getting closer and closer to zero from the left hand side. So, if we have that, we will have 2.73199. And then we will have 2.71964. And notice that these values and these two values, they are different, right? because this is not an even function. So you really have to do the uh, table for both, all, both directions. Anyway, for the last one right here, we have 2.71841 and so on, so on, so on. And of course, if you want to get even closer to zero, you can put down 0 0.00000000001 if you would like, right? But I think this right here is good enough. And notice that this value is approximately the 2.718 something. 2.718, what does that remind you of? Do we recognize this number? Yes, we should. That's the famous number E. So in fact, the limit of this right here is equal to the famous number E. And that's how you can you know, just use the table of values to see that. And later on, we'll talk about this without using a calculator. And if you guys would like, you guys can also take a look at the graph of that. So suppose you're graphing y is equal to 1 plus x raised to the 1 over x power. Well, when x is exact 0, we get undefined. So when x is 0, we will have an open circle right here. And why did I put it right here? And where is the y for here? Well, it's e, which is about 2.718. So the picture is going to be this. And again, just use your graphing calculator. I'm not going to show you guys too much. Uh, it will look like this right here, right? So this value here is actually e, but when x is exact zero, you do not get e. When x is approaching zero, you end up with e for the limit, right? So this is the graph, somewhat like that. So that's it for you guys.